Hey guys, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna start doing a little bit of a different kind of series, which is gonna be the Twin Flame Connection series. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a letter, like a letter of love written from your divine counterpart, okay? So um, this is the first time I'm doing this, so bear with me. It's gonna be a journey for the both of us. If you haven't already, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. This message should resonate for anyone who is currently watching it. If not, you can definitely check out your sign. Um, all of the cards that I'm using will be in the description below. Also, um, if you are interested in the Neon Awakening tarot deck, the link for that will also be in the description. And um, there may be an extended at the end of this reading. I haven't decided yet because this is brand new. So let's get into it. So what do you want me, how are we starting off this, this message from, from the Divine Masculine? This person has been going through a lot without you. I think that they've been trying to, and maybe I should do it in the sense of reading as, as it's them, right? I've been trying to focus on work because I'm concerned about our current relationship and whether or not it's over for good. I think that I've taken some time to really evaluate what works in my life and what doesn't. In the past, relationships in general have been very transactional, marriages, that type of thing, where I feel like I lost a sense of myself and a sense of love. I know that there's something that I need to tell you about how you are, who you are, and also about the expectations of me as your counterpart. I know that you're waiting for me to reach out. I know that you're waiting for me to change the direction that things are going. And I know that up until this point, I've not been the best form of me that I could be. And that there's a lot of things, a lot of toxic qualities and a lot of toxic traits that I do to stop myself from progressing forward. I want to change. I need to change. Change is necessary. It's necessary even in the sense of, of my physical health. There's something about this connection that I've been avoiding going down the path that's been illuminated for me by my ancestors, by God, by the universe. And I feel like it's a gift. But I'm concerned that I'm not going to be able to live up to the idea or the thought of what's being presented to me. And it's going to require a lot of change and a lot of things on my end where I'm going to have to reshift what my intentions are, reshift where my focus is. Up until this point, my focus has been on work. My focus has been on myself. My focus has never been in, in the sense of a relationship. And I feel like that's something that has been stalling the situation. I've been very focused on my finances. And relationships for me were always something that was in the distant the distant future. Once I was stable in my occupation, in my career, at that point, I feel like I'm ready to make some type of action towards you. But I know that it's either now or never. You forced a change in me that... I've not wanted to acknowledge change that I've been fighting. And I'm not even honest with myself. I live these two different lives 
in order to keep things grounded, in order to keep things surface level, because I know that there's a lot of baggage and there's a lot of work that I need to do on my end, especially when it comes to investing, investing in you, investing in our future. It's going to be hard work. And I shy away from that hard work. But by me betraying you and having a, a lack of deception or a sense of deception, because I haven't been honest with you about what I do, who I talk to, where I go, where my money goes, because I've not been honest with you, I feel like there's a sense of guilt. And now I'm worried that you're doing the same thing to me that I've done to you. Is this a sense of payback for the mind games and the intimacy or the lack of intimacy that I've given you? All the times that I've gone quiet without giving you clarity and confirmation of what you needed? Wow. I know that I can have it all with you. And I know all you've been asking me for is a sense of stability, emotional stability, transparency, communication on what's going on, where you just want to understand the details of my life so that you understand what's going on with me. So you can be more empathetic. And I've turned that down because of other things that I have going on in my life. And it's very simplistic what you want, but I always tend to fuck it up. I always tend to come in and make a mess because I listen to other people, because there's too many options, because I wait too long to take a sense of action, because I'm clouded in my judgment. I'm clouded in the way that I process information. I'm worried about what other people would say if they saw me and you together. I'm not only worried about what people would say because I do want to be out in public with you. I do want to do things that couples do. Go on vacations, go out to dinner, have these dates. But I'm concerned. I'm concerned about the truth coming out and about all the people that I've been very non-committal with and had these very open type of intimate relationships with where it's just, it, 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 it's impulse. I feel like I try to supplement other people with you, to try to replace you, to try to make up for you, and it doesn't work. At times, I feel like this love has confused me. It's confused me in the sense of it's changed my perception of things. It's made me want something I never knew was possible. I've fought this type of love. I've grounded it because I wasn't ready to handle it. I've stalled the situation. And now I'm worried that you're leaving me and you're moving on. You're moving on to somebody different, to somebody better. I've tried to keep my distance from you especially emotionally. Because how could you love me? Why do you love somebody like me? Why do you keep trying even though I keep blocking you? Even though it's like every time I feel like I knock you down or I try to remove myself from the situation, it's like you keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. 
and you're always there even when you shouldn't be. And now I'm worried that I pushed you away forever. That you're done with me. You're done with the situation. That if I don't provide you a sense of partnership and clarity, that you're going to move on and you're going to move away from me. I do feel like we both have a lot of things that we need to work on. And some of it we need to work on together, but some of it are things that we need to work on separately and come back together when we're healed. And maybe I'm just speaking for myself right now, but I have a lot of demons that I need to conquer here. I tend to run and hide because the reality is I don't want to acknowledge how I've treated you. I'd rather pretend that this never happened because that's what feels comfortable to me. I don't like change. I don't like feeling like I'm out of control, that I don't have control of my emotions. And as much as my, my life may seem on the outside like I'm very put together, I'm really a mess. And the reality is I feel lost. Beforehand, I thought I knew everything. And then you've stepped into my life and you've awakened me to this new spiritual connection where things in the past I've questioned, I've asked, can this be it? Is this really life? Is this, is this what it is? But now everything is starting to make sense. And I became excited to wake up every day, excited to see what's, what's coming. But the reality is, is I'm scared to go all in with you and losing myself in the relationship. And I have a lot of fear. I've been involved with other people and I've not wanted to tell you that because I feel like it would complicate things between us. And I feel like how I feel about you, it, it, it's unexplainable. So trying to explain that to people, to my friends, to anybody, why I just can't walk away, why I can't just stop loving you, why I'm so depressed without you. It's like everything around me is falling apart. You were really my sunshine. You were my light. You made me smile. Even on days where I was down and I had a lot going on, you were the one to come and pick me up. You were the one to tell me it would be okay. And I really miss that. There's this song and it keeps replaying in my mind um, a verbiage of it where it says, you prayed for me even when I didn't have faith. You loved me when I didn't love myself. And I feel bad about that because I hurt you because it was easier for me to lie to you than to be honest and have you hate me forever. Because you know that I was already damaged when you met me. You know this. And I messed things up. And that's why I wanted to have a friendship with you first. Before we took things to the next level, I wanted to take things step by step. I didn't want to rush it. But the reality is, is I'm longing to hold you again. And I don't ever want to let you go. You have no idea what I'm going through right now during this difficult time. I have a lot of issues I'm trying to heal and I'm really trying to become a better person for you and a person that you deserve. But I need some time right now. I need to take this time or else I'm never gonna be able to be who you need me to be. I need time right now to clean up my mess. I need time right now to tie up my loose ends. And in the past, I feel like I was too stuck on my ego where I knew I was disappointing you, but I told myself it was something different. 
and I wasn't ready to acknowledge my faults, when you would say certain things to me, I would take it personal instead of listening to what you were saying. And I kept hurting you. And I kept hurting you because I don't love myself. And it's funny because I wish things were different. Now I look back and I realize how selfish I was, how immature. And I was only looking out for my best interest, what affected me. And you didn't deserve that because you always cared about my emotions, cared about how I felt. And I feel like I'm never gonna get that again because you truly loved me for me. And you really have forced this sense of growth with me, changing, where I'm starting to really see and find my true colors. And during this process, even though it's funny because even though my friends are telling me I should leave you alone and move on, like it's not worth it, what they don't understand is that this is true love. And true love is the most powerful magic of all. And I know that in my heart, we can conquer any storm. I also know that there's things that are being done behind the scenes by other people to stop this, this from moving forward. But just know that true love can conquer any type of storm. I hope that you're going to wait for me. Because it would absolutely destroy me to see you with somebody else. But I know you're not going to wait around for me forever. And it's selfish of me to think that you would. But just know that I would give everything up for you. So prepare yourself. Because I am making moves in the right, in the right direction. In order to get ready to be with you. In the past, I may have ran away from this connection. It was too intense. I couldn't handle it. I didn't understand it. And it was very overwhelming. And there's times where I wonder if you still think about me the way that I think about you. Do you still love me the way I was with you? It's hard for me because being with you means hurting other people, my children, people I'm associated with. And in the past, I've not been ready to acknowledge that, but I also feel like that's part of an excuse that I've given myself in order to stay stuck. And I know that you think that I've moved on, but the reality is I haven't because I love you. And I can't get you out of my mind or out of my heart. And I've pushed you away because how you make me feel, it questions everything that I knew as the truth. I want to send you a message and explain how I feel. Explain that I understand this deep soul connection we have for one another. Where I just want to run away with you to a place without drama and start over new. Because I really am sorry for all the mistakes and dishonesty. I don't want to hurt you. And I don't ever want you to question how much I love you. Don't ever underestimate that. Because even though I don't show you how much you truly mean to me, I've loved you since the moment I saw you. You're beautiful. You're all that I've ever wanted. I fantasize about you till this day you still take my breath away and you're the only one that can turn me on like that. And I wasn't honest about my feelings with you because I don't know if you would reject me, if it would be too much. You know, do you love me because I run? Why would you love somebody like me? And now sitting here, it's like I'm feeling jealous of people that have access to you. I'm focused. I'm fixated. I don't want them to talk to you. But at the same point in time, I'm sorry that I can't be what you need. Because you deserve somebody better. 
but just understand that I want to leave the past behind us and start over with a brand with a brand new start where you and I can be very honest with one another and tell you what's really going on and what I was hiding and what I was keeping a secret because the reality is I'm planning on ending things with someone in order to be with you. But I want you to continue to be positive about what's to come. Because I do want to marry you one day. And from the moment I looked into your eyes, I knew we belonged together like yin and yang. I want to talk and make things right between us, but I really hope that you're going to be open to listening to me. And I'm afraid that you don't love me the way that I really love you. And I'm sorry that I lied to you. Other people in the past have been bad, toxic. They've lied to me, they've manipulated me, they've, they've used me. And I'm scared to give in to any type of situation, but just know that I'm coming back to you when I'm ready to give you the love that you deserve and truly fight for this connection. So there is your love message, your love letter. Um, in the extended, if you guys do want to watch the extended, what I think I'm going to go over is, um, you know, what their actions are going to be, what's going on, you know, how, how are they going to move forward from this? If this resonated and if you like this, this type of, um, love letter type of energy, and maybe, you know what, I'm not going to do an extended, fuck it. Let's just leave it as it is. If you guys like this type of, um, reading, where it's um, a letter of love from your twin flame or your person of interest, please let me know in the comment section. I would truly appreciate it because then that's how I know that this is something you guys are enjoying. With that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Peace out, Girl Scout.